News is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa, Nail and Barber Shops, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies and sports. The government of the Virgin Islands is moving to strengthen relationships with Guyana. This is as stated by Deputy Premier and Minister for Financial Services, Labor and Trade, Honorable Lerner G. Smith. Madam Speaker, in late July, the Ministry of Financial Services, Labor and Trade proposes to lead a trade mission to Guyana. This mission represents a significant step forward in the BVI's ongoing efforts to foster market diversification and expand our international business. Madam Speaker, Guyana has emerged as an economic powerhouse, achieving an impressive overall economic growth rate of 62.3 percent in 2022. This exceptional growth can be primarily attributed to the expansion of the oil and gas sector, which experienced a remarkable growth, a, a remarkable growth rate of 124.8%. Consequently, Guyana has garnered global attention and is now recognized as the most promising investment destination in the Western Hemisphere. Projections from the IMF indicate that Guyana's GDP is expected to grow by 37% in 2023, driven by the discovery of over, over 11 billion barrels of recoverable oil since 2015. By 2026, the IMF projects that Guyana will lead the world in per capita oil production and experience significant economic expansion with a GDP of 14.1 billion by 2025, nearly tripling the, the figure recorded in 2009. Foreign di direct investment into Guyana has witnessed a substantial surge, increasing from 1.8 billion in 2020 to 4.3 billion in 2021. Again, primarily driven by investments in the oil and the gas sector. As Guyana transforms into a regional hub for international investment, the government is utilizing its oil revenue to drive transformative changes and enhance services for its citizens. Moreover, the government of Guyana provides incentives to encourage investment in various sectors, including agriculture, business support services, health, IT, manufacturing, and energy, particularly in outlying, in, in outlying regions. Madam Speaker, Guyana's economic ascent is further underscored by its growing international relationships. In May of this year, Guyana established a, an embassy in Doha, solidifying its ties with Qatar and signifying its rising prominence in the global oil and gas industry. Notably, the IMF ranked Guyana second only to Kuwait in terms of countries with the highest oil reserves per capita, surpassing major players such as Saudi Arabia, Norway, and Qatar. Furthermore, Guyana signed a legally binding agreement with the EU in December of last year to promote its sustainable timber trade. Bilateral trade between Guyana and China has also experienced exponential growth, escalating from $265 million in 2018 
to $1.88 billion in 2022, positioning Guyana as China's largest trading partner among CARICOM countries. In March of this year, a bipartisan U.S. congressional delegation visited Guyana. This visit aimed to strengthen bilateral and economic cooperation between the U.S. and Guyana while providing valuable insights into Guyana's remarkable economic growth. Madam Speaker, the BVI has established a strong track record in facilitating cross-border trade and investment. With reliable and efficient corporate structure, structures supported by professional and legal expertise, the BVI is well positioned to contribute to the flourishing economic activity in Guyana. Furthermore, a significant cultural connection exists between the BVI and Guyana, as Guyanese individuals form the third largest immigrant group in the BVI, constituting a significant portion of the BVI's workforce. Guyana is currently attracting significant international attention, regularly hosting delegations from various nations, including the UK, Canada, on trade missions. The rapid pace of the country's economic growth and the vast untapped potential it offers have not gone unnoticed. However, it is important to note that while Guyana's economy is booming, its infrastructure and the technological advancements lag behind those of more developed nations in the region by nearly 30 years. This gap therefore provides an opportunity for businesses to contribute, to contribute to and benefit from Guyana's rapid transformation, driven by its augmented budget and its flourishing economy. The window for tremendous growth and the potential to make significant impacts in various sectors is wide open. Overall, there is tremendous international interest from parties with capital who wish to invest in projects that will benefit Guyana while yielding impressive returns on investment. The BVI's proposed trade mission to Guyana aims to, to seize this unique opportunity and establish stronger ties with Guyana, identify mutual growth opportunities, and foster collaborative and prosperous relationships. The potential benefits of this trade mission could significantly impact BVI businesses, especially in the financial services industry, agriculture, and the broader economy, cementing a partnership that promises mutual prosperity and adv advancement for both territories. The proposed trade mission to Guyana represents a pivotal opportunity for the BVI to expand its reach in the financial services industry and establish stronger ties with a rapidly growing economy. By leveraging the BVI's expertise and the track, rec track record, the territory can foster fruitful partnerships and position itself as an ideal facilitator for cross-border trade and investment. Madam Speaker, we see this trade mission as having great potential to drive significant growth for the BVI and foster mutually beneficial relationships with Guyana.
Honorable Smith made that statement during the June 29, 2023 sitting of the House of Assembly. Now, recently at a public ceremony that brought persons of several nationalities together, especially Virgin Islanders and Guyanese, the most senior member of the House of Assembly, District 3 representative, Honorable Julian Fraser, RA, proposed a move that can further strengthen the relationship with Guyana. Visa-free travel for all Guyanese. And most recently, Infinite Solutions BVI opened its doors in Guyana, expanding its reaches. With this JTV News Update, Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future, but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. These diseases can be managed or prevented if caught early. But with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life. We will Live well. Okay. Hi, I'm Cowboy, and I'm running for stake pre no, no, president's of stake. Thank you. I will meet your needs. Some bathrooms are so expensive to build, they come with security. But at Staycation Butchers, our meats are affordable. People always ask me, Cowboy, where does your salmon come from? Well, our salmon comes from the water. A vote for Cowboy is a vote for quality, integrity, and consistency. So come into Staycation Butchers and cast your vote for me, your next president of steak. Alexandra Durant approves this message. No, I don't.